Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. I'm going over 10 tips to remember when playing Wildflowers for the first time. These tips come in collaboration with my mod, Passa Cookie, who's played this game three times on Apple Arcade. She wanted to get 100% and she did. To start off, there's a flower that grows in front of Thomas's farm called Witchweed that you should check for and collect every day. It's used later in crafting recipes and only spawns in one location. Another item to start collecting from day one are weeds. On day two, you'll get the axe from your grandmother. Gather six wood and build the compost bin. Weeds are used in the compost bin to make soil, which is then used to make planting beds. You'll need plenty of planting beds to grow crops and make money. And yet another forageable item to look out for are blueberries, which grow from spring through fall. It takes a few days for them to come in at the start of the game, like three or four, but you can find them up by the lighthouse. Like many farming sims, be sure to do a little bit of everything, from farming to fishing and mining. You'll need to progress all these areas to reach the next season. There is no calendar in this game. Keep a few of everything you get. You'll need them for later quests and recipes. This includes items like squid, flounder, shiner fish, crops, and flowers. If you don't have enough stamina to finish mining a stone or chopping a tree by the end of the day, don't waste the energy. The hit points reset every day, so you'll have to start over. You can save a lot of money by upgrading just your pickaxe to copper, and then skip the copper tier for the rest of your tools, and just level them straight to gold. When you finally get into the mine, move around. In order to progress through the floors, you'll need to find a key to unlock the next level. Don't clear the same section over and over again every day. Switch it up and you'll have that key in no time. If you're fishing and you see a bottle appear, wait. Watch for it to go under the water and hook onto your line. These bottles contain valuable recipes that can only be obtained this way. If you're looking to 100% the game, there are a few recipes you can be locked out of if you don't do the right things at the right time. I'll say it again, seasons do not repeat in this game, so you only get one shot. You'll need to talk to the mayor's wife every day as soon as possible. During the summer, if her hearts are high enough, she'll be standing outside the schoolhouse with the recipe quest. You'll also want to go along with Damon's plan for pie in the fall. The choice doesn't matter story-wise, but if you say no, you will be locked out of the recipe. Seasons don't repeat, so make sure you make all of your nut-based recipes in the fall before you can no longer get the nuts in the winter. And that's it! Those are my 10 tips for early game in Wildflowers. Let me know if you have any tips below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.